Bye. Welcome back to another video of us making a soccer simulator game. Uh, so uh, we have got everything set up. Now it's time to actually start making the game. So what we're going to do first is uh, shoot the ball, work on just being able to shoot the ball. Uh, that's pretty much the, the, the main mechanic uh, of our game. So what we're going to do is whenever we press the shoot button, a ball is going to spawn in right here and we're going to be charging up the longer we hold the shoot button then the longer uh or the, the the farther he will shoot it um yeah when, whenever we shoot we're going to launch the ball and pretty much we can shoot whenever uh would that way we're not chasing the ball because uh if the player's got to shoot and then go chase the ball it's going to be pretty boring for them so um First thing we need to do is go to our let's do a starter character script local script and this will be our player handler our local input service equals game get service user input service All right, we also want to get one for our local player so that's easy to get you just go to uh, game players local player okay, input service uh, input began connect function input over press enter and now we can say if input dot key code equals enum dot key code uh do left or a click it's probably not key code it's probably like mouse something mouse behavior I will say if input dot key code equals um enum dot key code uh, let's do space the space will be the shoot button and it'll be for the keyboard let's let's say that up here in a comment space wait 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 shoot shooting and then we'll say Anyways, if it equals space, then all right. We want to make a bull for shooting, uh, a, a bull in our player module. It's going to be M. Need to rename this to M. You don't need to. I just I like to do I like to do that. M dot uh, is shooting. It's false. All right. So now, since that's in our player module, we can access that from our player handler. All right. So if input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code space 
then we want to spawn ball at ball position and we want to say the player module dot um is shooting equals true and then we want to print is shooting equals dot dot is shooting equals and then we actually want to show the value of is shooting true so that's all we want to do right now um, where the input began but we also got to have an input ended basically like this is saying like in unity if you're familiar with unity it's like button down and this is button up input ended next function uh let's see if input by key code so like what this event does this is like anytime there's any input whatsoever we're, we're going to the next line in this function and then if, if that input just happens to be this key code which is space the space bar then uh, we just want to say global player module is shooting is equals ball and then we just want to copy this line right here copy paste actually I want to go ahead and change this now because it's, it's already bugging me I want it just to be shooting not is shooting Uh, so yeah, we just want to see if that's working. If we if we press the shoot button, will the uh, I can't think the whatever the console. What was it? Space. Oh, I can't. Let's not do space because that's jump. Um, let's do. I want to do mouse click. your input type mouse button one not working I don't think yeah I think I'm messing up with the input dot user input type which makes more sense Okay, it's, I'm pretty sure it's working. I just messed this up. I need to just turn this bool into a string. So we'll just say, um, to string and like that and like that. 
and we'll just copy this whole line. Copy and then paste it over. All right, now let's try it. Click, let go, shooting equals true, false, true, false. That's good, that's what we want. And it's clicking with the left mouse button. All right. So, one thing we wanna do is when we start shooting, we want our character to stop moving. So, what we wanna do is Um, what is this? We will say player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals zero point uh one should be fine. Then we will paste this down here and I think the normal walk speed is 16. So we'll set it back to 16. Okay. Okay, it's working. See, we're still, if you look really close, we are still moving a little bit, which is fine. There won't be anything noticeable. There's something else we're gonna add is we want it to uh, still shoot like if you're if you if you just hold down the shoot button uh, like forever like uh, we, we still want it to shoot after like a second you're still holding it down like we want we want it to max out for how long you can hold down the shoot button so after we do this we want to say wait yeah we'll we'll do a second and if player module shooting equals true then uh, we want to set player module shooting equals false here we also want to add the condition or if global player module shooting equals true and let's reformat this so just highlight it come up here to format selection format selection there we go so now this won't fire if we've held it down for longer than a second because what it's going to do is uh you know it's going to check hey is this is the shooting value still true if after a second of input began uh if so then make it false and we're going to also make it do uh this other logic the same logic of uh, input ended and the input ended uh, like whenever we let go of the shoot button if we've been holding it down for longer than a second it's not gonna fire because uh, it's only gonna fire if shooting is still true and 
so this should work now I'm gonna click and hold it down and after holding it down for a second it should uh, shoot or we should get a message shoot so click there we go shooting false I'm still holding it down so I'm gonna let go all right and I just let go and nothing happens so that's good also so it is working exactly as I want it to we want to we want to spawn the ball and the ball position so let's also get a reference to our ball position and the ball so let's get the ball first ball equals game dot workspace dot ball and our ball position is going to be player character ball position ball hold on ball oh wait let's do let's do um local new ball equals that and then we'll say new ball parent equals workspace and new ball position equals ball position dot position I want to do it let's see there we go we are cloning soccer balls and it's cloning right where we want it not shooting yet of course it's not but hey oh yeah see they're still anchored so we need to unanchor them can't move them oh shoot that's kind of cool like you could make a game some kind of game with this mechanic right here some people think that autistic people are fair-skinned males that speak in monotone and constantly go on and on about the same topic some people think that autistic people do not know right from wrong avoid attention and usually say the wrong thing at the wrong Sorry, that was actually kind of fun for some reason. Uh, um, all right, so now what we want to do is I'm not even going to worry about the gamepad. Gamepad is just going. We're just going to copy. Once we get it done, we're just going to copy everything from the keyboard down here, and then we're going to replace uh, this line with something else to make it uh, only fire when a certain gamepad button is pressed. So, all right, guys. So one thing that really tripped me up uh, when first coming to Roblox Studio and messing around with it is I didn't think it had like like in Unity how you have the update function. I didn't think Roblox had that right because I could not find it anywhere. And when I searched for like help on the subject I couldn't find anything uh, but there is something Roblox does have something uh, similar to unity's update function um, so in order to use it though we're gonna need to get the run service so let's get that up here local run service 
equals game get service run service all right so in order to check something every frame we say run service stepped connect function And we just want to say if global player module shooting equals, and you don't have to say equals true. I just think it's more readable, so I like to do it. If shooting is true, then we want to say uh, shot aim position, shot aim, shot position plus equals and we want to say all right this is going to be script parent dot humanoid root part c frame look vector Plus, we just want to say, uh, um, vector three dot new one zero zero, and we will multiply this. Let's put this uh, in parentheses, though, just to make sure that that gets added before we multiply it and let's do let's do a shot power variable so let's say m dot power equals i don't know um let's do one let's let's see what one looks like and we'll say times global player module dot shot power. Now we'll say else dot aim dot position equals ball position dot position. So if true shooting is true, we want the shot aims position to go straight out to to our to the character's look vector, uh, which is where he's looking. It's it's the forward axis. Uh, yeah, we want the forward axis plus one on the x axis, um, and we want to multiply that by the shot power. That'll give us control about how fast we can. How fast the, the uh, shot aim or the yeah the shot aim will go out on a forward axis. Let's see if it works. Um. No. It 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 kind of does, but it's not going straight forward. So. Maybe it's not the X, maybe it's the Z. That's how it would be in Unity. Be the Z. Oh, we, and we still gotta unanchor the ball. Yeah, that's not it. That's, that's for sure not it. Oh, there it is. Why was it? No, that's not it. I don't know if I need this at all. Like, wouldn't it just be?
Yeah. Alright, and we need to say new ball uh, anchors equals false. And we are actually going to change stepped to heartbeat. Uh, this will let us get access to the delta time, which we're going to use for a shot timer. So we need to add a shot timer variable, make it equal to zero. Uh, and we're going to increase every heartbeat. We're going to increase the shot timer by one delta time. Uh, this will make it to where if we're holding it down for a second, the shot timer is going to equal one after a second. Um, First, we just want to increase the shot timer by one delta time uh, every heartbeat. And just to make sure this is working, we want to do a print, uh, then shot timer. And so we should actually see the shot timer equal one uh, after one second. And it should stop at one because it's not going to fire unless shooting is true. And shooting is set to false after one second. So let's test it out. Look in the console. See it stops at one. One. Looks like it slightly goes over it, which is fine. All right, we want to get rid of this. I'll say if shot timer is greater than one, then global player module shooting equals false now it's working the way we want it to so it doesn't cut it off anymore it completely resets whenever we go to shoot again it is consistently i'm doing it half on per halfway on purpose full way do a really sh few short ones and some long ones short long short long it's perfect all right, uh, we're actually going to stop it here. This has been this has been long enough for one video, I think. So I want to cut this off uh, and finish the shooting on the next video. Next video will actually be launching the ball. Uh, so right now we've got it so the ball spawns, it's unanchored. We can roll it around. Uh, we stop moving whenever we go to shoot. Um, yeah so that that's it for this video uh we should hopefully get it get the shooting finished up in the next one and i will see you guys over there and thank you for watching Just. bye, -bye.